All right, well, here's today's project. What we're working on at Pop Shop. And I'm Pop. I have a clogged diesel particulate filter. That little feller back in there that would uh, Let's see if we can get that out of there and clean it. So I've never done a project like this before. After looking around, I found that there's three bolts in here that must be removed. I must unplug this sensor, pull the little red tab back, and then they come out. On the other side, There's two more sensors plug in under here, color coded. Bolts must be removed from this strap. I like to keep all the parts from one side of a vehicle in their own container, easier for reassembly. These four bolts here, with my favorite lubricant, because it's exhaust. Oh. There's a gasket. Let's not lose that. And I believe I'm ready to remove it. And we'll try cleaning it out. And put the camera back down. I try to do a lot of labeling of parts. Helps with memory later. For instance, these bolts, bolts are marked because they go through the case this way. Whereas the other ones go in the other direction with the nut on that side. Also, even the orientation all the way across so that they go back together the way they came apart. And now that we're in it a little bit, here is why. This end of the filter Nice and clean and pretty. This end of the filter, however, is nasty. We'll clean that all out with some hot soapy water. Along with the other one. And hopefully, we can find a little more light here. Yeah, hopefully we get a bunch of that nasty out of there and my code will go away. I'll let you know. If I actually had a camera person, besides me, this would work out better. Oh, another little note. When taking off these little banjo bolts, that holds whatever that sensor is. <clears throat> the washers want to fall down in the hole beside that. Don't let them do that. So I found a helper. I'd kind of like to show you the nasty stuff that's coming out of here. This is just with plain water. So, no harsh chemicals, nothing that's going to damage the machine or damage the substrate. And don't touch any of that with a stick or anything or you'll ruin it. But, look at what's coming out of the other side underneath of it. And when I first put water in it, it held water. It wouldn't even run out. It was so clogged up. Let's see what's in the other one. We'll try again with some soapy water in a minute. 
but I kind of wanted you to see at least the first rinse. Here's that side is not near as bad. We'll keep working on this. Stop button. Well, I put her all back together. Well, that seemed to work. My codes went away. It's running properly. No more reduced throttle. So, I guess there we go. That's the first installment on Pop Shop. I guess I'll figure this stuff out eventually. Oh, it's dark in here. We'll be working on this little Rokon. We will probably end up working on this, one of my crazy creations. Polaris 500 cross cart kind of thing I'll be sticking a motor in that for the kids to play with I'll be doing some work on this oil pan oil pump some uh, rust repair we'll get some of that going on film too like I said, this is all new to me. <coughs> Probably be doing some work on the old 66. Maybe show you some pictures of how I built this awning for next to nothing. Of course, we'll get the old XJ in there once in a while. Anyway. I guess we'll find out someday if you like my content or not. Just kind of an old boy that fixes stuff in an old shed. So, thanks for checking it out. See ya.